Cloon Park was a thriving community in the late 19th century and early 20th century when shipyard workers needed accommodating for during a busy era in the business. A primary school was built in 1887 to teach the workers' children. The church beside it was built in 1905 in a Gothic style. The Clune Park area consisted of 430 flats in 45 four-story tenement buildings. The majority of the flats were small, with 69 bedsits, 310 one-bedroom flats, and 51 two-bedroom flats. As a result the area had one of the highest densities of housing in Inverclyde. Over the years, the decline in shipbuilding caused many to leave the area. With the apartment population falling, the church closed in 1997, with the school following sweet in 2008, also due to a modern replacement opening nearby. The Clune Park estate has the highest rate of below tolerable standard housing and the highest void rates of any neighborhood area in Inverclyde. There are no resident owners within the estate and the occupancy rate across the estate is less than 10%, with a number of buildings being wholly unoccupied. Below 20 people still inhabit the flats, whilst most remain abandoned as well as the school and church vandalized by local youths or stripped down by copper thieves. In some cases, squatters have taken refuge in the spaces, so the council are scrambling trying to regularly maintain their ceiling. Somehow, we had discovered the school and church prior to realizing practically everything else was derelict too. In 2020, the site gained more and more attention gradually with photos of the internals of the school surfacing online, showing grand, dated architecture. We managed to work out the location the images were coming from and were excited to see that they belonged to the small vacant school we had pinned a year or so earlier. Thankfully, we managed to visit the estate before all hell broke loose. It was probably the most popular Scottish place last year, with all the regulars visiting, dubbing it Scotland's Chernobyl. Yes guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. It is Urbex in Yorkshire. Um, somewhere special today guys, or what I consider special. Um, the last few remaining residents may not, but this place is very interesting. Uh, I'm on, I'm in Clune Park Estate in Scotland. Now, uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a good look around this place. There's, there's shops, there's churches, there's schools, there's apartments. It's all abandoned. Uh, I've managed to bump into one of the local residents here. Uh, Robert, uh, how are you doing, Robert? You all right, mate? Uh, so basically, um, I've I've had a word with him. He's been kind enough to uh, to come on camera uh, and basically tell you a little bit about this place. You know how long you've lived here, um, why it is how it is, um, how many people are still living here. Is there any plans to sort of like you know pay these people off to get them out so we can, you know, what are the plans for this place basically? It's from demolition. Demolition. I'm waiting for demolition, but there's landlords. See this place was built years and years ago for the, the shipyards down there. Right. And they used to be these were all bought houses many, many, many years ago. Okay. So landlords started taking it and let everybody and empty in. And that's how they were doing it. Right. There's one landlord that's uh holding on these flats. He's wanting over a million pounds for them. They're wanting over a million pounds. Aye, one landlord. I've got flats, he's got Quite a few flats in here, but you want a million pounds off the council. Oh, to, to, to hand it over? To buy them. So you can get a demolition order on it. Right, right. Well, a million pounds, I mean, that's a six figure sum. It'd sit nicely in someone's <laughs> bank account, wouldn't it? I mean, these, these buildings are so historic as well. That, that church must take back. Yeah, well, I don't think we can probably shop the street because that's uh, listed. Listed. 
grade listed. What about so the old school as well? That looks like these things. That's flashy, you know. That's 19th century. So a lot of this stuff around here, they'd have to, I mean, I imagine most of it they could probably get rid of, but there's a couple of things where they'd have to keep and maybe restore them um, to the former glory, turn them into something nice. But as you can see, just above Robert, guys, we've got a church in background. And um, it's one of the oldest churches I've ever seen in my life. It's, it's obviously, you can see, it's, it's derelict, it's, it's decaying. We've got trees growing out at roof and all kinds of stuff. Uh, there's a school just behind it, a primary school. Um, there's shops, there's property management places. There's, there's an old four box, uh, there's apartments. Um, there's flats just to the other side of these houses as well and over there. Um, a lot of these flats I've noticed as I walk down, uh, there's no one living in them, you know, the ceilings hanging down and, and all that kinds yeah, of stuff. Look, look up there, it's, the ceiling's still doing, but these three houses up there are occupied. Right. And down there, on Walsh Street, they're all occupied, I know. Cool. Um, so, I, I imagine you'll know everybody who lives here then, won't you? Well, there's no many people it's, living this back now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, how, how many people, roughly, still Just occupy this? This bit. Just these two streets here. Just these two uh, streets, so there's that one up there, you can see. It's called Wilson Street and Wilson Montgomery Street. Street and Montgomery Street. Montgomery Street are the only two occupied uh, buildings. These, these were built first before then, so... And there's not that many people in them, is there? No. From what I've seen. It is surprising, because if you look at some of the state of some of the properties, the roof is literally caving in, so it, surely it's not safe for people to live in there's anymore. There's no. There's no. But I not. mean, there's still people staying in some of these, I like at the very end. And they fall apart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, There's been a few people <coughs> doing videos down here about this and put it on YouTube. And yeah. And they were talking about drive by things <coughs> and mass prostitution. And it's never been like down here. This used to be a great place to stay in. It looks really nice. It looks it very is. sort of self contained and it looks right. at, at some point in history it were a, a very, you know, tight knit community kind of thing according but, to information online it says it was back in the 19th century it was for a thriving community right. yeah I mean we will be going into history guys uh, but I bumped into Robert first uh, so I thought I'd, I'd have a chat with him and, and see if he wanted to do this opening video with me I uh, really appreciate you coming on camera no Robert it's been a pleasure uh, what I'll do guys is I'll pick it back up we'll go into a little bit of information about this place and then we'll have a wander around and let you all have a look at it uh, for what it is now so we'll pick it back up as you can see, these are sealed off at the moment. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get in anywhere. But nevertheless, what an amazing explore. Uh, so this door is locked. So I'm actually... Uh, on a bit of a on a bit of a trip at the moment guys with um, top abandoned places aka the Gwent Auditor uh, we decided to go up to Blackpool uh, sorry Glasgow to to get some content for our uh, auditing channels um, the Gwent Auditor and Audit in Yorkshire and while we're, while we're up here uh, we decided to do a couple of herbexes This is um, <coughs> this has been <coughs> excuse me severely fire damaged. Oh, you can actually get in as well. Um, I'll probably wait for top abandoned places to be honest, because I've come all this way up into uh, up into Scotland. I've managed to bring all my gear and I've forgotten my torches. But yeah, uh, so this is the, this must be the building, uh, Robert, the local resident we're talking about, where all the kids have been setting fire to the buildings and stuff, vandals have been in. Uh, but there is access, <coughs> there is access to, um, to all of these buildings on this side and this side. Hoovers and vacuums and 
tents, TVs, all kinds of stuff, guys. I mean, if you just look in there, I don't know even how safe that's going to be, to be honest with you. This one looks a little bit more a little bit more like uh, you know you come in there's no broken glass and not like that wow i mean there's the sofas and wow there's all kinds of stuff in here guys As you can see, all the doors have, have all been shut. So this would have been a public walkway once upon a time. This is absolutely mental. First time ever, guys. Oh, I've got to stay at that bath. First time ever on Urbex in Yorkshire. An abandoned housing estate. So, this is just one of the flats. So, Sam's just on phone at the minute. Which is why I'm sort of just going anywhere I can go. It's got a light, to be honest. Oh dear, that's what lifts up. Got another. Another flat in there. I imagine that's the same way out as the one we've just been in. That one's been burnt out and ripped out by the looks of it. This is absolutely mental. Huh? Are you want phone? Yeah, I've still on phone. Alright. I'll pick it back up guys when we get downstairs. Right, so top abandoned places is finally got on off the phone and it's come into another flat which uh, originally I didn't bother coming in because I ain't got a torch but you, I mean you can see in this one guys we've still got carpets down we've got a fireplace there's, there's freezers, there's TV units is this what's the kitchen built into this? yeah it looks like it's all been ripped out though, this man. looks like I'm just keeping an eye out because you never know there could be needles on the floor couldn't there? Yeah, one yeah, yeah. One over there. Oh, I hope I didn't just step on them. Where? Uh, I'm keeping an eye out because you don't know the. What's the point? I'm uh, finding the other price point. This part of the, this part of uh, Scotland is quite bad for the homeless people. So. Right. 
That's the address, 6 Wallace Street, Port of Glasgow. The legal occupier. This was a bedroom. Yeah, this what bedroom? Got half a bed there. Very small flat is this, it's so uh, it looks looks like you've got a bedroom, bathroom, uh yeah, so you've got your bedroom, you got your living room with your kitchen built in it, your bathroom. I don't even want to go in there. Well, I've just and, had a look now. A couple of under the stairs. Are you going in? I've just had a look. Oh you've had a look. I'll just shine the light. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a bit of a shit hole, doesn't it? It does a bit, doesn't it? Right. This is what we've got to squeeze through there. Well, it's a so, thing, yeah, especially with my bag on. Yep, yeah, so. Upstairs, yeah, you have a look upstairs and I'll work downstairs for you guys, so. I'm going to go outside and have a smoke and wait for him. Wait for him coming back down. But yeah, you've got to be very, very careful of where you're standing at all times. You don't want any old nails or needles or anything like that going through your foot. Because that wouldn't be good. So I'm going to wait outside for him and then pick it back up. So, top abandoned places is going in a, another section of... Um, these abandoned flats um, maybe I should go and have a quick look in this one <clears throat> like I said we've got to be uh, really careful of where we're standing as well this place is absolutely massive So we've got another flat here. Again, similar to the last one we looked at. Living room, kitchen. Oh shit, it's nearly fell then. Bathroom. wallpaper in a bathroom. Got mother nature growing in growing in size. I've got one here where the door has been completely ripped off.
Amen. We've got two more up here. That looks a little bit dodgy and a little bit dark. Um, oh, blimey. Look at that. Straight down into the next, into flat underneath. So, here. We have got a living room. Still got some furniture in this one. Bathroom. Bedroom. Whiffs a bit in here. back up we'll go look at some more buildings at top of the street now so we're back outside uh, I've no idea where uh, I've no idea where um who is it is top abandoned places there's an horse there's an old CCTV camera up there look but that's not in use anymore there's some some vehicles as well um, Robert Street. So we are going to work as, make his way back down to the school and the thing here uh, shortly. School and um, the church. That's still got power. There's still power in here, guys. You can get in round the back. There's a light on. So we're going to go around back and we're going to check this out because it looks a bit, a little bit more modern uh, than the rest of them. Should have brought me five gel, really. So, uh, a what? A mummified cat. Really? Yeah, you can see it like its eye sockets and its nose with its whiskers. Dead. Dead. Mummified. No eyes, just eye sockets with a, a cat nose, whiskers. What the hell? And it was sort of lying on the, in the kitchen, in the kitchen cabinet. In the kitchen cabinet? Yeah, well it's open, but the cat's, there's a dead cat lying in there. Oh, Mummi that's crazy. Mummified cat. I'm glad I didn't see that. So what we're seeing, what we're seeing um, is, is this building here looks a little bit more yeah. newer than these. Now, I've just been up to the door and there's a light on the inside that's in there. and the back door's open. So I'm thinking, we're going here now. <laughs> work his way up there and then work his way back down to the church. we find that this is one of the occupied premises, yeah. Uh, I don't think so, because if you come to the front door, it's locked and there's like um, a buzzer. What, I'm getting a little bit of static noise from. But it, I mean, it looks completely empty and completely abandoned. Yeah. If you have a look through a window. Oh, yeah, look at that. It looks completely uh, abandoned. Yeah, it does actually, yeah. So, I'm thinking, should we go in there and have a look? Why not? Let's check yeah, it out. So, pick it back up. Yeah. Right, guys. Managed to get over the fence. Very, very, very slippery. But I've managed to get over. Um, it's great. You don't have to mess about with this big camera anymore, saying... I've got to change the battery, I've got to change the battery. Fantastic. Well, so we made it over that fence. Oh my God. So, we are going to attempt to, to get in. Marvel, which is into this dangerous thing. building, do not enter. Oh shit, I don't actually, don't actually really drown. Oh no, this is a school, innit? Can we get into the school this way? Yeah, this is actually the school. I thought we could walk around the back of it. So, just gonna get in some pictures as I go around, guys. Oh, it's a shame we can't get in here. Now, this would have been a worth. 
worth a, uh, oh, another score. a walk round. Unless there's a way in. What other way? Like round by where the community centre is. Uh, yeah, well, we can still go that way. Ah, oh, maybe jump over the church wall. There's got to be an easier way <sighs> to pick this one back up. What? Needles? Yeah. We ain't jumping down there, guys. What I'm going to do is. <sighs> Go back out of that fence. I was going to jump down that other way, but it said there's needles. <sighs> Stung myself on a plant. Right. Let's get out of here. Right, we're at the other side of the school fence enclosure where we were. Uh, this is Plume Park Resource Centre. Apparently the building is alarmed, so I doubt it very much. Let's go have a quick skadoodle around here. No, no idea where Tap's gone, I don't know if he's got in. That church or what? As for the building we pointed out earlier, I'm not actually sure if you can get round to the back of it without actually going inside the building first. I don't know if it's a closed compound. Oh, there he is. I was just saying, that building we were looking at, yeah. that back door what's open, maybe that's just a secure area for like a garden or something, maybe you can't get in there. Maybe. So. Right, so we're just going to have a look in this newer apartment block, guys. There seems to be windows and stuff open and doors. So I don't actually know if anyone lives in here, so I've got to be quiet. Right, so we're further up the street now. Uh, we're at Clune Park Street, and this is the same building uh, what I was in, but round the other side, looking out the, the back windows. Uh, top of Andon Places, it's going down there. We have got a council van, which I will zoom in on. It's that white one down there. That's just come out of nowhere. Um, I think it's pulled over, I don't think it's keep, keeping Brian us or what. Oh. It's open. I wait for uh, top abandoned places. He's got the torch. I 
Uh, but there's absolutely nothing anybody can do. Even if Police Scotland turn up, it's it's a street. It, you, you're coming at one end. Well, it's a, essentially what used to be a main road. You're coming at one end and you go out the other. Down there. Oh, river, uh, drain, drainage system. Yeah, so it leads out the other end, looked at main road. This has been uh, somewhat of an incredible explore so far guys now unfortunately I don't know if we're going to be able to get into the school and the church be a real letdown if um, if we can't but it is what it is let's zoom back out on there I can't believe I forgot my torch. Cannot believe it. Wow. Look at all that. Crazy. Dancing in the dark, view between my arms. Right, well, what's this here? Dump, dumpers. Don't do it. Uh, you now face fines of up to forty thousand pounds. Hmm. Can't see that really getting forced, can you? So yeah, we're right next to the main road as well. Crazy. 
crisscross crisscross glass. Holds off a bit there, guys, and just, uh, just getting some pictures as well. Yeah, absolutely crazy place. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go find TG, uh, TG, uh, top abandoned places, so I'll pick it back up. This is the other room where I walked past. So bottles of iron brew there. <laughs> Good kitchen. Wow, yeah, this is one of the other rooms. Uh, flats. What I walk past, guys. Bonkers. Papa sneaks a piss in here as well. Look at that old piece of hand player. <coughs> so, I wonder how many more years to come this place is going to be like this. No idea where top abandoned places have gone. And I'm just wondering as well, you know, guys, is that CCTV? It's actually working. Not. I mean, you'd have thought if it were, police would have been here by now. No, it's not. Well, it's, it's, it's not spun round to follow me anywhere. In the Clyde Council. Don't danger, do not use. See, when I see danger signs and stuff like that, it just makes, it just makes, me, makes me want to go up and have a look, but I don't think I'll bother. Uh, so the council van is still down here. No idea where top abandoned places is. Go have a bit of a mooch down here, see if these guys say up. Uh, this building here, what we thought we possibly could have gotten into, uh, there doesn't appear to be a way in, to be honest with you. I think it might be just some sort of private uh, private garden compound round back. Maybe there are people still living in there, uh, hence the wives' electricity. Oh, he's up there. 
Ja. I'm down here. Yes, people. So I am bringing this video to a close. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna get my favourite, favourite looking abandoned building in at the end, which is the church. Unfortunately, we couldn't get into it. Uh, we couldn't get into the school either, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, but yeah, not to worry. It's been um, it's been a fair decent explore. It's gonna probably be about an hour long, roughly this. Um, so yeah, uh, Clune Park estate abandoned in the port of glasgow it's been absolutely fantastic uh, big shout out to top abandoned places his link will be in description go check him out uh give him a sub tell him i sent you uh, all photos what i've taken today are going to be on instagram guys uh, so you know what's coming if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next one bye for now